So hi everyone, uh, it's not a massive surprise, Harris Brookers has found himself a club, FC20 in the Eredivisie and you, you know it's, it's it, the snowball transfer effect is starting to take effect now where you're seeing a lot of players uh, starting to leave the club and Rafa starting to build his side. Yes we've got Chris Natson, we'd like to say more players add on but we're now seeing players leave the club which, uh, which if you look at the players that are left None of them you'll be too disappointed about. You know, Harris Vukic, uh, we're going to be talking about him. So he's 24 years of age. He's nearly 25 in September. And he joined in what was it, January 2009. It was either us or Milan that he was going to pick. He picked us. And there was rumours going around that he's going to be this wonder kid. And he has shown spells of brilliance when he came in the Europa League that season. Uh, and then also he scored that wonder goal against Ajax in pre-season where he took on five, six players from the halfway line. Um, for whatever reason, he's never really made the grade or loss of form, injuries in particular. He's made a total of just 20 appearances in eight and a half years, which is not the greatest. You know, 10 of those were starts. He did score the one goal in the Europa League tied home against Atramitos, but as I mentioned, he just never made the grade for whatever reason. He went out to Newcastle, loaned him out to other lower league sides to try and help him get his form back, you know, and he was loaned out with Cardiff, Rotherham. He went up to Scotland for Rangers, where he did really well there. Wigan... Uh, Bradford was another one where he went out loan and still he just could, for whatever reason couldn't make the grade the, none of those clubs decided to purchase him and then he was with the under 23s for the second half of this season you know and he still shows a little bit of spells of flash and brilliance but the club allowed him to go out in a, for a two week uh, trial over in Holland and he went with FC20 on trial ironically so they've obviously decided to pick him up at the end of the season we made a video about uh, Harris Rukic on trial uh, here it is Castle. The club have allowed him to go out and trial at FC20. He played in against uh, Sport Lochran. Uh, yesterday it was, where they got beat 3-1. He started the match, as you can see there, that is Harris Vukic on the team sheet, and that's a third from the left. Um, but let's remind ourselves what Harris Vukic could do. Remember this goal against Ajax? So it's all over their social media that FC20 have signed Vukic. He's been speaking uh, across social media about his move to FC20. This is what he's actually said. It's nice that I've made this move to FC20. In March, I was able to train for several days with the team and play a practice match. In those days, everything felt good at this club and I'm happy that I will play for FC20. For me, this transfer is also a new step in my career. I'm still young. But to have played at clubs like Newcastle United and Rangers allowed me to gain good experiences. I'm looking forward to showing what I can do in the new season. So that's what Vukic has said and he'll take, he'll obviously go away and he'll take his wife, his toddler across to Holland. And he, he does need to kickstart his career because he's now 25 in September. Hasn't really got many appearances on, the, on his career, you know. And it's a good move. I do feel it's a good move for him in the Eredivisie, a bit of a league weaker. Uh, well, a few, few levels probably weaker than the Premier League. And he's got that one international cup, Slovenia. You want to go there and progress with FC20, get loads of appearances, gold under his belt, and then get his international career back on track because he's played at all the youth levels. Got the one cap for Slovenia, you know. So good luck to Harris Vukic. Um, and hopefully he makes, him, makes a name of himself elsewhere. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.